Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Darissa Rain, aka Riri. I am a plus size model and a self-taught and freelance makeup artist here in North Carolina and I love Project Runway. I have watched it for many, many years, probably since it's come out. <laughs> <laughs> and I absolutely, absolutely adore it so much. I miss Heidi Klum. I miss Tim Gunn so much. I love Tim Gunn with my whole, whole heart. Um, anyways, yeah. So I love Project Runway and anything fashion. So today um, I was in the middle of another tutorial and I was like, I haven't done my brows in a long time on camera. I know that it can be something that can be a little bit boring and we all kind of do our brows the same way. I personally feel like for kind of forever, you know, unless you're using a different product. Um, but I did want to go ahead and do an updated version of my brows because I have been using the Urban Decay Brow Blade ever since I did my first impression of it. So I just want to do it. I'm going to do just one brow and then go off camera and do the other one and then kind of show you my after just so that we're not here for 4,500,000 years. Um, as y'all can see, mama overplucked in the 90s, you know, and um, my brows went rogue. They just never, they never came back the way I wanted them to. So first and foremost, I am going to spoolie up my brow and just keep in mind, I mean, I'm doing, you know, just one to show you guys, but I really kind of want to be pretty precise with it and really give you guys an idea of how to do my brows. Um, when I'm doing them by myself, not filming or whatever, obviously I just run through them and it is what it is. But I really want to do an in-depth kind of, you know, this is my current little situation. So if you have not seen the Urban Decay Brow Blade, I do have the shade Brunette Betty. There is a pencil side and it's fairly thin the way that the precisely my brow is. This is slightly thicker, just slightly. And then there's also a pen that is a waterproof pen. Um, I'm obsessed. I have used it every single time that I've done my brows since I tried it on my very first, uh, first impressions with it. So yeah, I'm really excited about this and I feel like it lasts a long time. Um, the other day I had makeup on for 10 plus hours and my brows looked really good. Um, I even fell asleep in it and my brows still look good. <laughs> Don't do that guys, okay? So um, again, because my brows have not grown in, I like to take the pencil and come straight up the bridge of my nose and kind of create a little line. And you don't have to do this and I don't do this when I'm doing it by myself um, because I know where to place it. You're gonna go out the outer corner of your nose and bring it straight across and you will meet where your arch is supposed to go and you can put a line there or you don't have to put a line there whatever you want to do I also stay at the outside part of my nose and meet up with the outer edge of my eye and I'm going to do the three dots just to kind of show you guys again you don't have to do that so as long as you're connecting these three lines and doing the exact same you know distance apart and everything on this side you're gonna have pretty decent ish brows they may not be twins. Sometimes they won't be sisters, but they might be cousins. They're cousins that hang out a lot. So with that being said, I always start with my bottom line and I'm gonna connect point one, two, and three together. And then I'm gonna go across the top. And now when I do the top, I'm gonna start in a little bit in further because I like this part to be a little bit more kind of soft, more blended. And whereas this part's gonna be a little bit more dark, deeper, a little bit thicker. So on the top, I'm just gonna go and follow the actual brow line and just extend it to where the tail is at. So I'm gonna shut the fuck up and let you watch. <laughs> So now you can already see a drastic difference. <laughs> so everything is filled, lined in the front, the bottom and the top. And then I'm just gonna fill it in. And definitely go with the direction of the growth of the hair. It looks more natural that way. And just do really, really fine little hair-like strokes. I'm sorry if you hear my guys talking. <laughs> And again, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of product right through here. I'm literally gonna do a couple little lines because we're gonna fill that in with the blade part. And we're definitely gonna soften that out. So I love the color. I love how pigmented it is. I like that this is, I like a little bit more of a stiff pencil 
<laughs> um, versus something that's like super, super creamy because I just feel like it works better. It stays in the brow a little bit better and easier. I'm going to spoolie everybody up and then I'm going to take the front part of the brow with the spoolie just very, very softly, you guys, and start to kind of blend in the front area of the brow just so that it's a little bit softer than this part is. Now I'm going to come in with the blade Then you can see how fine that is. And now I'm going to go in where this part is really sparse and where I'm still sparse through here and give myself these fine little tiny kind of strokes. And you guys, the, like the color is perfect. It works beautifully. I honestly, you guys, I cannot say enough about this product. <laughs> and I mean, it just, it, again, it stays on all day long. And again, I'm just going to do a couple little soft little strokes through here. And then just fill in anywhere where I feel like maybe I just, you know, happen to miss with the pencil. So that's that. Hopefully the mirror was not all up in front of my face. I apologize if it was. I am going to do this brow and then I'm going to come back, clean them up, and then show you guys the final look. I'll be right back. All right, beauties, we have two brows. Um, they're, they're sisters ish. Um, so I did conceal with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and my Morphe M421. This brush is phenomenal, you guys, to do the brows and stuff and like cut out the brows. Um, if you're doing like a cut crease or anything like that, you can see how teeny tiny it is. I love this brush. I have three of them. <laughs> so that is what I use to carve out the brows. And as you can see, they, to me, look pretty damn good, you know. Now I'm going to go in with my Gimme Brow. This is the shade 3. This is also from Benefit. And this is just a little mini. Um, I've been really uber lucky, especially since I love this product so much. Um, I've been really lucky to get a bunch of these in sub boxes or like little sampler packs and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I've been pretty lucky. The other one I like is by Brow Gal and that one has like the little fibers and stuff. So I really appreciate that one as well. So that's it. That is my brows. And um, I normally will take, I've already done it, but I will again. I normally take just a dry beauty sponge and just kind of press in between the brows. Again, so I can keep this part right here just a little bit more soft and then keeping this part, you know, a little bit deeper. Um, so that is it. Short and sweet. I am obsessed with this brow blade, you guys. Um, and I know it's a little bit more pricey. I think it's $24, $26-ish. I will insert the price somewhere right here. 100% um, worth it. I have had this for, I think, a month now is when I did that first impressions video. I have used it every single time that I have done my brows. And I'm obsessed with it. Like I said, I can go to sleep and wake up and my brows are still on my face. <laughs> uh, and as someone that has no brows, I appreciate that very much. So thank you, Urban Decay. <laughs> Uh, so that is it. If you like this video at all, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you tap that notification bell, I'd be even more grateful and thankful. And please, please always remember to be your own best beautiful. Bye, beauties.